This is Wilhelmina. She's not feeling too well right now. She suffers from IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. She wanted to have a nice swim in the pool, but unfortunately, uh-oh, Dookie in the pool. Oh my, what to do? Let's talk to Dr. Lola and find out more about IBS. Hi, we're back here on Dr. Lola's show with Dr. Lola. We're gonna ask her a few questions about what irritable bowel syndrome is. Dr. Lola? Yes? Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. All right, I'd like to start off by asking you, what is irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS? That's an excellent question. IBS is an irritable bowel syndrome, which is a disorder of the lower intestinal tract. It involves abdominal pain and abnormal bowel movements. Emotional stress can often make symptoms worse. Oh no! Yes, we actually have a few people here today that are gonna share their experiences with us. Can we let them in? Come on in! Hi, Dr. Lola. Um I was wondering, I have IBS um, constipation. How, how could I deal with that? We want to gradually increase your fiber intake by two to three grams a day. We also want to make sure you drink a lot of water throughout your day. So you want to drink eight ounce glasses six to eight times a day. Like I have IBS diarrhea. What should I do for that, Dr. Lola? For IBS diarrhea, we want to make sure that you do not consume foods with extreme temperatures such as ice cold water or extreme hot soups in the same meal. Stay away from broccoli, onions, and cabbage. Eat smaller portions throughout the day. Drink water an hour before and an hour after your meal. All of this should help relieve some of your symptoms with diarrhea. Symptoms range from mild or severe. They include abdominal distension, abdominal fullness, gas or bloating, abdominal pain that comes and goes, reduces or goes away after a bowel movement, and occurs after meals. Not in Jessica's case, irritable bowel syndrome has become very inconvenient. It's affecting her lifestyle and her love life. Jessica! What's up? Hey, Bill. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? Um, nothing. Yeah, you want to hang out tonight? Sure, you can come over. Oh, what time? Actually, I'm right outside. Oh, okay. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Who's at risk for this, Dr. Lola? Good question. People who are at risk are people in their late 20s. Women are twice as much likely to get it than men. People with a family history of IBS also are more likely to get it. And people with history of physical or sexual abuse and psychological trauma, and also people who have conditions such as depression, migraine, headaches, and fibromyalgia. Emotional distress, depression, and loss of appetite are also included in the symptoms of IBS. I wish I could drop a log. Donna suffers from a chronic case of IBS constipation. You can see what kind of emotions this can bring up for someone who deals with this every day. Oh, I wish I could drop a deuce. Oh, I wish I could drop the kids off the pool. Oh, I wish I could drop a bomb. I wish I could scoop my poop. Oh, I wish I could defecate. I need to make fire. IBS? I have the same problem. Can you please explain to us what the treatments are? Of course I can. The goal of treatment is to relieve symptoms. Lifestyle changes can be helpful in some cases of IBS. For example, regular exercise and improved sleep habits may reduce anxiety and help relieve bowel symptoms. Dietary changes can be helpful. However, no specific diet can be recommended because IBS in general is a condition that differs from person to person. Increasing dietary fiber and avoiding foods and drinks that stimulate intestinal intestines like such as caffeine may help. Other possible treatments may include counseling in cases of severe anxiety or depression, antidiarrheal medication for those whose main symptom is diarrhea, low dose antidepressants to help relieve intestinal pain, and medications to stimulate bowel movements for people with constipation. Not bad. I'm William. Hey, who 